Hello, my beautiful buds. Welcome back to my channel, Sprouts with Joy. My name is Joy, and if you're into plants, you're in the right place. So today, kind of on a whim, my husband and I decided to drive out to Cleveland Atlantis. <laughs> We decided to drive out to Cleveland because there is a plant store that like has a few rare plants I've never actually been to before. I decided why not check it out because my mother-in-law was available to watch our daughter. So it's just it's kind of like a little date slash adventure baby. We might is it okay if maybe we stop at Lowe's too, if there's one? What? If there's a Lowe's nearby or like a Home Depot, I kind of want to stop there too. Just because like I actually haven't been out to Cleveland to see what their selection is like. Because, you know. We're changing the rules of the game when we already started. <laughs> yeah, well, we live in the suburbs of Cleveland, but we don't make our way out to the city that often. And I don't know, I'd love to see what their plant scene is like because I did not grow up here. Oh so, yeah, join me when we, as we go out to Cleveland. <laughs> Say, woo. Say, yoo-hoo. yoo <laughs>
This is the silveriness, so it's pretty, but also I love the silveriness. Oh, it's a little pineapple. Oh, it's so fun. I love the Florida green. These are super cool too, actually. Geoganthus ciliatus. Fun and like the lady that was there was super nice and it was so pretty. I was a little bit nervous, admittedly, because that was actually my first time like filming in public with an actual camera. I've done it with my phone, but you can kind of do it discreetly. And I I wanted to talk, but there was some pretty loud music going, so I don't know if any of the audio really made it. So I might just kind of have like an overlay of music going, but. <coughs> I do want to show you my guy. I'm, I'm not an expert YouTuber yet, so I don't know the whole shindig. But so <coughs> Clay went ahead and picked up this t-shirt because he's like, you should get this shirt. It was, it's pretty cute. It's the urban planting shirt. And I, it's super soft. I like the color. It's pretty fun. And I love supporting local businesses and stuff. So babe don't move yet I also got this pair of like pruning scissors that'll be good for propagating and stuff I, I've been wanting like a dedicated pair of scissors so that'll be good thank you safety first <laughs> and then the star of the show this lovely philodendron painted lady um Wow! Hi! <laughs> She's so pretty! She was $44, which 
I don't think is a bad deal at all, honestly, all things considered, because I've seen them online for like around this price range, but I don't know if they're quite this large or if they, I mean, they usually have to pay for shipping on top of that, so I feel like in order to get a plant this large, you have to pay closer to $60 at least online. So I'm really happy I was able to find this here. It's super pretty. Yeah, those are the things that we got from Urban Planting Cleveland. Again, they were super nice. Clay, do you think we have time to go to like, we should look up and see if there's a Lowe's nearby. It's 14 minutes away. Should we stop there? Sure. Okay, I think we're also gonna stop by Lowe's just to get a taste of big box plant shopping in Cleveland. <clears throat> so that's exciting. I should probably put on my seatbelt because danger, danger. It's, it's only like, what, 50 degrees, 48 degrees. It's really not cold at all today. It's kind of cold and rainy, but like not extremely cold. So I'm thinking the plant should be fine to stay in the car for like, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. We are off. I'll see you there. So there is a slight change in plans because there was another plant store on the way to Lowe's. So I went ahead and we're stopping there. looking at the goodness, actually. I might be tempted to get one of these. I think they're supposed to be tame the goodness. But they're so silvery and pretty. It's nice. I don't know what variety specifically it is, but it's just possible. This is like the Maria Sigonia. Maria Illusion, maybe. That doesn't specifically say. It's kind of fun. Oh, that's an interesting leaf. It's like orange. Is that a new one? That's so interesting, actually. Some very, very big. Um, I'm not so sure of that. <laughs> It's saying that's a peace lily, but that looks like a bird of paradise. <laughs> that's so pretty. Some alocasia. Is that regal shield? I think it might be. Those are huge. Dracaena. Is that marginata? I'm not super well versed in Dracaena. And some Aglaenina, Silver Bay. Lots of Monstera. More Dracaena corn plants, I think is what they're often called. Really 
Well, that was a lot of fun. The other plant store and the Lowe's that we stopped at, which it was Lakewood Plant Company, I believe, that we stopped at after urban planting. It was really cute. I didn't specifically see any plants that I really wanted. I I could have gone for that, oh, what was it? Like Queen of Hearts philodendron, but, or maybe even a Calathea rufifarba. But at the same time, I don't know, I already had kind of made my like big plant purchase, philodendron painted lady, which I'm very excited about. So I didn't want to like get a plant just to get a plant, you know? But yeah, it was super fun in there. The Lowe's, it was interesting to see their selection and how they compared to like my local Lowe's and Home Depot and stuff. And they had some pretty decent fun things, but nothing like crazy. But yeah, nothing like calling out to me or anything. So I think that is gonna be it for this video and this experience. It was good to take you with me on that little adventure and yeah please consider liking commenting subscribing oh gosh i'm gonna sneeze if you enjoyed this video please consider liking commenting subscribing uh any of that stuff it's a huge help to me and i really really appreciate it i hope that you have a wonderful and blessed day Bye bye